So we are back. Um, yesterday or a few days ago, I had some complications with my sound and uh, wanted to get that fixed so everyone can enjoy the video. Um, just a quick update on my health. Um, you will see in this video that I had a little incident where I had to, my first reaction was to headbutt um, to keep myself from hitting the ground. Uh, so I headbutted someone. Um, I knew it was severe, but I thought I would bounce back. Um, so today is uh, a few days later, talking four days later now, and uh, I've been diagnosed with a concussion, which I pretty much knew. Um, I didn't think it was that bad until um, three days ago, or three days in. Um, I started to feel a little woozy and dizziness and blurred vision and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm going to be okay, and uh, let's get back to the race. So this race was uh, pretty exciting for me. Uh, is the 2019 Crit Masters State Championships uh, for 35 plus and 40. Earlier in the day, uh, Jason Midoff from Memphis Winnie won the 45s, along with Sharon taking third. Um, they were shorthanded with only four guys and still was able to uh, pull off the win. Um, so this point of the race has actually been full gas, man. We've been averaging about 29, 30 miles an hour. Not bad for a bunch of old guys. Uh, you know, with day jobs and whatnot. So it's always exciting when you have a hard race. Um, and, and for me, it's exciting because if you can pull off the win, it makes it that even more sweet, right? It's not an easy race. It's like, okay, it was a well-deserved race. I wish the course was a little bit more challenging. I always think any type of championship should have a more of a, of a challenging course, but you know, Southern California, we, we race in uh, industrial park. So at this point, Evans, our, our French, uh, race crew comes out and, and beats up on us is off the front and uh, he's an endurance guy he can definitely stay away he's got a nice gap and I've been setting myself up for the last few laps to uh, attack and I typically try to attack on the uphill it doesn't even have to be uphill just the hardest part of the race so if it's a headwind if it's an uphill if it's a chicane that's usually where I try to make my move um, so you can see he's out of sight out of mind you can't even see him so Here's, here I am, I'm starting to make my move now. Uh, I'm out of the saddle, 30 miles an hour, the group is going about 28. And as I get closer to the group for the element surprise, boom! You can't tell from the video, but I ran head on into Dave Caso, who probably has at least 30 pounds on me. Um, I turn around and I kind of like shook my head. I was like, oh, Dave, what? Oh, man. And at this point, I'm out of it. I stopped pedaling altogether, as you can see, 17 miles an hour. And in my head, my head was telling me, dude, you better stop. Like, that didn't feel good. I felt this jarring pain going down my neck. I rung my bell for sure. I was a little lightheaded. Um, I blacked out for probably about half a second to a second. It wasn't like I was completely out, but definitely like rang my bell. So just the competitive nature of me said, just pedal a little harder, get back in the group, and let's see what happens. Um, so I came back, I don't know, maybe three, four laps later, I started to feel a little normal. And um, I made up in my mind that, you know, I trained, trained hard for this day and I didn't want it to just go to waste. Um, but then in the back of my head, I was second guessing, like, is it really worth it? And then when you have, you know, your teammates telling you, do, I mean, it's not worth it. It's just the state championships, right? Um, you start to second guess. So there was a few, a few moments within the race where I, yeah, I, I, thought, I thought I should drop out just for the betterment of my health uh, because you, know, you can't put a price tag or a jersey on your health. So um, anyway, regardless of that, I continue to stay in the race. Um, I allow little small groups to get off the road uh, because it was, it was actually allowing me to open my legs. I still felt like my legs weren't open. You know, when you're only racing 50, 55 minutes, uh, for me, it takes a little longer now to get going. So. Um, these moves, even though I know they weren't going anywhere, it was just uh, it was a way for me to really uh, open the legs up really wide and 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 get that. It's not I don't know know how to explain it. It's not like it's almost like nervous legs. You ever have like anybody who ever drove a stick, right? When you first start driving, you get stuck on that hill, and then that that left leg on the clutch gets nervous, and it feels like you have no muscle behind it. Sometimes I I feel like that when I'm in a race and it's not hard enough. It's like I just need that pressure on the legs. So anyway, um, 
the team, my team, Methodist Winning has been riding absolutely hands down fantastic. Um, Monster Media is out there with a full squad. And I want to give a shout out to Eric Anderson right there, my teammate right in front of me. Um, he, he put the bike down for a little while to focus on, uh, on, on his career and his family. And uh, he came out as if he didn't, he didn't miss a beat. And that's just pure determination in heart. Um, and then here again, now this one, um, this is a break I thought could succeed. Um, in this move is uh, strongman Chris DeMarkey of, of Monster Media. Um, I believe that was Adam also of Monster Media and a hit squad guy. So, I mean, if we can all get together, that's three of the five big teams, you know? And uh, I got on the gas and maybe I passed them a little bit too fast. Um, and that could be discouraging to someone who's already pulling. Um, so I, I, I think that was my bad that I just, I went across a little bit too fast. I should have slowed down and, and, and allowed them to get on the wheel. And as you see, I'm still trying to motivate them to continue to, to ride hard, but it's just not happening. So hit squat pulls through and we all look around, we see that it's not going anywhere and I just decide to soft pedal and let the group overtake me so I can get back in the draft because the draft is king. That's exactly where you you save all your bullets, right? Is following a will. So uh, I wasn't familiar with rider number 160. Uh, he had the Mexican flag on his jersey, so perhaps he came from south of the border, which is always nice to have like some newbies out there that you don't know, uh, which add, you know, some. Uh, some unpredictable uh, racing strategies. Uh, he was pretty solid, um, was always up there, but nothing too crazy. So this is the part everyone's always waiting for in my videos. You get down to the last few laps. Um, I believe it's three laps to go here. Um, Monster Media actually got to the front immediately and started uh, set, setting up their sprinter, Danny Kim, who's also leading the CBR series so he won't have the the black or gray jersey that Monster Media traditionally rides in um, he has the leader jerseys on the leader jersey which is yellow for CBR so there's kind of two things going on right you have the state championships and then you have points for the overall um, everyone's feeling good as you can see look 30 miles an hour but we're not single foul we're spread out across the road and I'm just doing my best to find my guy. Um, Sharon has actually never led me out before, so um, I'm not nervous because I, I, I trust that he could, um, you know, all he has to do is technically a sprint, and he's very good at that, right? So as um, long as our guys in front of him, which was Aaron and Eric, uh, Pishon, Jason, as long as those guys do their job, it'll make life for Sharon very easy, which makes life for me um, very easy. So just to my right there for my team was uh, is Max. Max is on that uh, red binge there, uh, black and red. And he is actually contesting the 40. So uh, his objective was to follow my will and jump me before the corner. And if he jumps me, I had uh, a, just a great feeling that he could win. And if he won the race, he wins the 40. I get second. I win a 35. That's that's uh, two champions in, in one race, which which will be a, a pretty good result and look really good in 2020 when you have a 45 state champion, 35 and 40. Anyway, so we are going to two laps to go, I believe. Hopefully, I'm not wrong here. Um, and I'm feeling pretty good now. Like my, my adrenaline is getting a little higher. You see my heart rate is at 166, which is not bad. I prefer it to be around like 170, um, 172, uh, getting down to the last laps. Um, just because it, it, it allows me, it, it's like my engine's running, right? It's like the, the car is nice and warmed up. Uh, so 160, 166 is, is a little low, um, but that's okay. So still, Monster Media is on the front, uh, doing a great job controlling the pace. Um, when they first hit the front, they actually went really fast. Uh, I was like, holy cow. Uh, I didn't show it in, in this video, but I was a little far back with five laps to go when they hit the front. And the, and the field was completely strung out. And uh, in my head, I, there was a, a fraction of a panic, not an over panic, just like, oh shit, I better get up there. 
um, and which I did. I just picked my way through some corners, made up 10, 15 spots by taking a corner a slightly different way than the rest of the field, and I was up, I was able to get in the front. Um, it was a little annoying though that they were actually taking the corners from the inside. I, I, I don't know where that came from, and I tell you, this part right here excited me the most. Here we are trying to hit the front. Monster Media is on the right-hand side. I believe that's Randall hitting the front. This is what bike racing is to me. This is like this is where you earn your your, your pennies that you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna get at the end of the day. Um, so again, tight left-hand corner, and you take it from the inside. No, no why, but that's where it was. Um, I was gonna fight Rigo right here for the wheel, but. He, he he's such a good rider there's no need to fight and you see he knows what to do it's no need to fight Sharon. he he's got he's in for the 35 plus he's a great endurance rider got a good turn of speed on him and uh, at this point aaron had just pulled off Sharon is doing the infamous tighten the shoe uh for the sprint and uh, let me get back to rigo for a second rigo and i have been racing against each other for nearly mm, two decades now um, as a junior, he was absolutely phenomenal, one of the best, one of the most feared. Um, I like the way Sharon is uh, looking back. We did a horrible job, and I, and I take blame for this, for allowing Tommy Robles to come up the inside on us like that. You have to protect the inside when you're going into a corner. Um, and he timed it perfectly. He probably saw that no one was looking, and it was just a great job. Sharon tried to fight him a little bit, and honestly, in my head, and I guess in Sharon's head too, it wasn't worth it. Uh, we both have a better turn of speed than Tommy, so uh, letting him get in front just added extra draft. So at this point, I'm yelling at Sharon, go. Actually, about five seconds before that, I wanted him to go into the corner full gas. Um, so he comes out of the corner, we step on it, and my first five or six pedal strokes were actually really good. I had to back off. I ran up on Sharon too fast. And then now I want to back off, and then I'm going to take a run, and here's where the run starts straight to the corner, protect the inside. I don't want anyone coming underneath me uh, because if anyone comes around, I'll be screwed. And I cut to this video that Peter sent me. It shows a nice clip of me coming out of the corner, full gas, back to my point of view. And then we have a victory. Um, this is from Miss Myadoff's camera, I believe. Yeah, Jason's wife, who was at the start finish line and was able to grab finish um, believe it or not I was protested uh, they tried to disqualify me for having my hands up um, I didn't really mention it because it wasn't even worth it it was just a bunch of BS but anyway I am the new 35 plus state champion thanks to all the teams that came out and supported the race thanks um, to all my sponsors uh, Muscle Monster, Pioneer, LAL, KMC Change, Fast Forward Wheels, Giant, Bicycles, and of course Seth Davidson thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys soon peace